Caught on camera, Miami police say a surveillance tape shows a man running off after getting into a hit and run crash. The crash sent the victim to the hospital and led to traffic tie ups. CBS News Miami's Peter Dench joins us from Jackson Memorial Hospital with how the victim is doing and a closer look at that surveillance video. Police tell us the victim was taken here to the Ryder Trauma Center with some serious injuries. Drivers who take off in such cases can face some severe penalties. We're eager to capture this person because he left this person not knowing if he was going to survive or not after this serious and, and horrific accident. Police say a suspect flees on foot after his black Chevrolet Suburban hits and shreds the driver's side of this red Toyota by the Dolphin Expressway early Friday morning. They say the Suburban loses a wheel but keeps on going for three blocks where the driver gets out at Northwest 14th Street. In the video provided by the Marathon gas station, it shows the suspect running away, but then it shows him like hiding behind one of the little buildings next to it and then he just decided to run away. Officer Mike Vega is alarmed by crashes like this one. The state says between 2015 and 2022 there were 96,146 hit and run crashes and 198 traffic deaths. Looking at hit and run penalties with convictions with property damage it's a second degree misdemeanor and up to 60 days in prison and a $500 fine. With injuries it's a a second or third degree felony. Your license can be revoked for at least three years and you can spend up to five years in prison and face a $5,000 fine. With fatalities, it's a first degree felony. Your license can be revoked for at least three years and there's a mandatory minimum of four years and up to 30 years in prison and a $10,000 fine. We talk about this all the time. If you are under the influence, if you have no driver's license, if you don't have insurance, whatever, remain on the scene, face the consequences for that. You might get a slap in the hand. But when you leave the scene of an accident, you just escalated it to a felony. A breakdown shows approximately 81% of hit and run fatalities occur during dawn, dusk, or nighttime conditions. Police say because the suspect's vehicle was not reported stolen, they hope they can identify him and find him. If you can help, call Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. In Miami, Peter Dench, CBS News, Miami.